Dragon's Lair isn't so much a game that you play as it is an interactive cartoon experience that you experience over and over and over again. And it was just amazing. I loved pretending I could control the cartoon in that game. The gameplay itself is rather simplistic, actually. It's very much a trial and error, one input per screen sort of thing, but no one had ever seen anything like that associated with a video game before. I remember when I was a kid in the arcade, seeing it in the corner, and it's just amazingly beautiful. We're used yeah. to, um, you know, pixels and vector graphics. We're not used to actual hand-drawn animation. It looked like a Disney movie. He was actually drawn by Don Bluth, who had worked for Disney, and later on went to make movies like Secrets of Nim, uh, Land Before Time, um, American Tale. All dogs go to heaven. <laughs> All dogs go to heaven, apparently. I didn't know that one. <laughs> but this was not the first game to use a laser disc or optical media, but definitely the first big one, the first super popular one. There were so many people that would gather around the Dragon's Lair console when it first came out, is that it was also one of the first games where they would actually have two monitors. There was a monitor on the top because there were so many people who would watch it and, but you couldn't see it, so you, they'd put it on top of the monitor. And then I stood around, watch people too, just to see, and other people thought it was hard too. Maybe two or three, four, maybe not even. I never saw anybody win or do well. You watch the movie and you're like, ooh, Don Bluth, and then, and then it's just like, but and then you die, and it's like, what the f Sometimes they would mix it up, like at one point you hit left, and the next point you'd have to hit right, even though it's the same video animation. The screen flashes for what you're supposed to do very quickly. You know, it'll flash in the direction of the screen where to hit left or right, or your sword if you hit your sword button. If it's set on easy, otherwise you're never gonna <laughs> defeat the damn game. <laughs> damn you operators! Yeah, Dragon's Lair sucks. It's Quick Time Events, the game, like 20 years before Quick Time Events became a thing. It spawned uh, Space Ace. Yeah. Uh, it did spawn another Dragon's Lair 2 sequel later down in the line. <laughs> Um, and, you know, again, ushered in the Laserdisc arcade game era. Dragon's Lair was very popular in arcades, and there was hope that it would turn things around from the industry decline of 1983, but it just wasn't enough. Perhaps they didn't hit the sword button in time. Bluth girls are like the hottest chicks in like cartoon history. The hot, hot Princess Daphne that Dirk the Daring had to rescue. Oh, what a babe. Man. Whew. They drew her from Centerfold. Yes, yeah, so you can tell. Daphne was hot. She was pretty hot. Yeah, Daphne that. was really hot. Sexy voice. Oh yeah. Woo! Save me! <gasps> Help me! Save me! Oh, the key! And you're like, oh, damn. Yeah, it was a quarter sucker in in two ways. It sucked the quarters, and you were the sucker, you know, like for the quarters. So in both ways, yes. <laughs>